Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Cassie here. Um, sorry I haven't been around as much lately. I've been trying to post a video every single week, um, but that can be really hard sometimes just with schedules and life and craziness, so I haven't been as regular as I wanted to be. I'm trying to get back to the flow as soon as possible, so please be patient. There are a lot more videos coming. I've done a bunch of videos and I'm filming more even though I haven't edited the first ones. So hold out, there's so much stuff coming up soon. I'm really excited for you guys to see all the stuff I've done lately. Yeah, but today I'm doing a new food video because I haven't done one in a while. The Kit Kat giveaway was a huge success and I'm still very surprised when people enjoyed the videos and watched them. And so thank you so much for all that. Also, I got to over 100 subscribers, which is a huge, big kind of milestone. So thank you so much everyone who's been watching these. I really appreciate it and I'm loving that people are really enjoying these videos. So I'm doing another food giveaway again. And as you can tell, it's Pretz. If you don't know what Pretz are, Pretz are like Pocky. If you don't know what Pocky is, Pocky is this. It is a candy-coated chocolate biscuit. They're in a stick form and they're pretty famous in Japan um, and also around the world. Some of people have heard of them. And today actually is 11-11, which is in Japan, Pocky Day. It's not like an official holiday where people dress up in Pocky costumes, but it was done by the company kind of as a promotional thing. So a lot of people, especially teenagers, know about Pocky Day. So happy Pocky Day to those who are celebrating. So I thought finally I should make this video. I've had these pretzels I'm chasing today for a few months. I don't think they go bad. So back in the spring they did four new flavors of pretz, all from different countries. Um, and so I've been waiting to make this video and I'm going to do it today. I'm going to taste the pretz and the flavors are awesome if you've never heard of them before. So let's take a look. So first from China, I think it's like tofu. I don't know for sure. Um, they have the name in kanji, but I can't read it. These are special China pretz. So yay, China tofu. Maybe it's spicy. So in Thailand, I think it's Rabu flavor. I don't know. I'm going to correct that in the bottom with some titles, but from Thailand. Next from Hawaii, pineapple flavor. And uh, when did Hawaii become its own country? And last, it's my favorite. No surprise where this one is. It's from Canada. Ah, maple syrup flavored pretz. I am going to do these ones last. I'm so excited. So let's try some. Here we go. So let's do China first. Um, I like the box. I think it's tofu. I think I've seen it before. So pretz are very famous. They come in these packages like this and everything is nicely sealed. I don't know what the flavor is. So you see a pretz, it is like a pretzel. It's pretty much what it is, but it's flavored. Let's try it. Mmm. Really good flavor. I don't know what- ooh, it's spicy. Ooh, it's some spice there. I don't, I don't know the flavor. Ooh, it is really spicy though. It has a nice kick to it at the end. But I like this. This is a nice spicy pretzel. I would eat this all the time. Good crunch. Even though it's been like four months since I bought them. Yay, to the expiry date. No to the expiry date. Oh wait. Ah, next year it's fine. Yeah, I don't know the flavor. It's a very spicy flavor. It doesn't have like any like particular flavor. Just the savory spicy taste. Hmm. Savory spicy. Let's try Thailand next. Ooh, I think I've actually had these ones before because I think they sell them in Thailand and one of my friends came back. Oops, it's orange. Okay. I can still taste China in my mouth. It's very spicy. Ooh, it smells kind of like seafood-ish. It kind of smells like shrimp. I'm feeling it might be shrimp flavored. Let's try this. Here we go. You do like five of them make the flavor. It's a little sour. Yeah, maybe shrimp based? I don't know. I don't actually know what's in it. But definitely like a seafoody ish to me. That's what I'm getting from this. Again, that's like a sour lime ish taste. I like the China one better. If I'm going to pick between the China and the Thailand, definitely for the savory flavors, definitely go with China. China was good. Okay, let's go for the sweet flavors. Next we have, ooh, pineapple. I'm excited to try something sweet. Um, and yeah, pineapple flavor is good. But still, Hawaii's not a country, just so everybody's clear on that. Hawaii is a part of the United States. It's not its own country, right? This one's hard, because it's not a box one, it's like its own little um, separate pouch. Oh my gosh, it smells like pineapple. It's, that smells like really good pineapple. And, Oh, it's like, oh, they're like completely like, they're a lot 
brighter and they're smaller than the other ones too. But it smells like candy pineapple and I'm really excited for this. Here we go. Hmm. So like the textures was completely different. The other one was more, I guess like, it was harder. This one is almost deep fried maybe. I think they deep fried this one. Oh, that's really good. Oh yeah. It tastes like pineapple. Really, really, like really good pineapple. You have to get a little bit of the sour taste of pineapple. Oh my god. Why did I not try these sooner and buy more of them? Because you can't buy them anymore. Come on. I have to stop soon when I can't stop eating these ones. Okay, the last one I'm doing, we're taking kind of serious here because, fun fact, if you didn't know this by already, I'm Canadian. Yes, so this one I'm going to take very seriously. It is maple syrup flavor. Um, they have to get this one right. If they don't, I will actually cry on camera. Do they actually say, I think they actually say something about their own country on the back. I can't. And I can't read it. My Japanese isn't good enough to read the back. But yeah, so maple flavor. So it's not saying maple syrup, it's maple flavor, which is kind of scaring me, but here we go. Okay, open them. <sighs> I'm kind of scared for this one because this is my country and maple is my thing. And. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna open this. Here we go. We're gonna smell it. Here we go. Ooh, they got that good. It kind of smells more like table syrup though, just to be a little bit judgy, but it's maple, it's maple. Table syrup maple. But... And this one again is the same, like the pineapple ones, it's more deep fried than actually like caked on. So here we go, we do that. That's good. It tastes just like French Toast Crunch cereal, if you know what that is. You pretty much had these before. But really weird though, is like, if you let them sit for a little bit, you can taste like the pancake batter flavor. And I'm crazy for saying that, but like, it, you know you make pancakes and you don't cook all the way through because you're scared that you're gonna burn them. So like they're a little bit like kind of floury in the middle. That's what these taste like. And that's oddly bringing back memories of when I tried to make pancakes myself and failed at them. Thank you, Pretz, for giving me this experience to relive my horrible cooking. So, as you can see from this title, there is a giveaway part to this. Yay! So I actually have one box of each of the flavors I tried today. Hopefully I'll get more entries than last time. I got a lot of entries in my Kit Kat video, which was really exciting. Um, so I'm excited for people to try these. So for this contest, please leave a comment below and like this video and explain which flavor you want to try and why. The deadline is December 24th, 2015, aka Christmas Eve. Um, I'm really excited to hear from everyone. And thank you again still to everyone who entered the Kit Kat contest before because you guys made that contest awesome and made me want to do another giveaway again. And I'm amazed the stretch of where people have watched from. I had people in the UK, I had people in Pakistan, I had people in Wales, I had people in Turkey. So many different countries all over the world and I'm really appreciative of that. So thank you so much for watching these videos. Yay, we are the world. With that, I'm going to quickly try the Man Milk Pocky uh, because you can't actually have official Pocky Day without eating an actual Pocky. Ooh, Man Milk. It's like toffee, it's awesome. It tastes like a score bar. I gotta stop now before I eat that whole package. But happy Pocky Day from Japan. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, watch your new videos coming soon. And you guys are awesome. I love you all. Pocky loves the world. <laughs>